Hello everyone. It is Sunday afternoon. It's been a long day. My alarm went off for the first time this morning at 6.30 on a Saturday morning. Um, I am getting ready for my semester teaching and we were supposed to have a adjunct faculty meeting training which ma call it <laughs> um, this morning I got there so did about other about 10 other faculty members um, the facilitator of our training workshop thing was not there nowhere to be seen um, so that was fun so we hung out there for about half hour I did meet another communications professor which was really cool um, so we've exchanged contact information so she's gonna help me get started uh, on the semester on the right foot which I'm really excited about she's super sweet um, older lady um, but now I'm here at my other job um, I've just been kind of working on my coursework stuff all day today so I'm a little scatterbrained um, but now I'm here I'm producing the 10 p.m. tonight uh, it's a big college football day on our channel so all the sports people are in so I'm really excited that means I have a lot of content for my show tonight so here's to a long day it's an hour show at 10 p.m. so I do not get off the air until 11 o'clock tonight <sighs> bear with me today real talk. People are always bringing treats when you work in a newsroom. So it's impossible, impossible to eat healthy like this one coated in sugar. Um, that's real talk. Plus we also have this awesome like snack room vending machine thing. Let me show you. There's a whole bunch of chips, snacks, candy. Um, if you need Tylenol and all sorts of stuff, fresh foods, and your selection of beverages with a ton of caffeine choices. So we are all set here and there's cameras that watch it. So no one can be sneaky. You're gonna pay for everything right there at that little kiosk. And another real talk, while having that vending machine is super convenient, it is a little pricey. But I mean, if you're desperate or need caffeine, it's there. is real. I'm exhausted. It's 7.34. Three and a half hours. I'm just wandering the station, trying to get my blood flowing. I thought I'd walk you through a little bit of what I do in the control room during a show. As you can see, Tim brought me dinner and decided to stay and watch Look the show in the booth. You look tired. I'm exhausted. I'm gonna sleep well tonight. <laughs> Let's see. So this is our rundown. We use a program called iNews. There's a show timing feature that shows me how much time is left in each story, the show overall, and if I'm gonna get out of the show on time. So I control that timing feature by using a space bar, which will calculate if I'm gonna get out of the show on time. It helps me make decisions either to drop stories or if I need to add something. To the right of my rundown computer is another screen that amongst other things shows me the programming and the prompter. This is the IFB panel. It's how we communicate with our anchors or our live shots. They wear earpieces that allow us to communicate with them even during the show. And it's really important that they know of any changes or that they're on camera. All right. Hey everyone, so I'm um, just editing the video and I just wanted to add in that what you saw in this video as far as like in the booth is just a fraction, like fraction 
of what goes on in there. Um, I mean, I'm always constantly communicating with the director who you can kind of hear in the background, um, our technical director who's pushing graphics to air, um, and with my anchors, with live shots, and making sure the video's right, and watching the preview to make sure the graphics, um, you know, didn't get missed in the run through, um, like a misspelling or something like that. So, I mean, what you see in this video is just a snippet, um, and I kind of kept it very short and concise. Um, but if you have questions, uh, you want to know more about something specifically, please comment down below, and um, I will try to answer those as best I can. I'll try and get some more video in the booth. Um, it's just a <laughs> crazy time, so it's hard to film. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed this. Be sure to give this video a thumbs up and hit that subscribe button so you can see more videos like this in the future.